Deep in the heart of rural Yamanashi lies the ancient temple district of Minobu. This town has a very secluded and peaceful atmosphere to it, and many hidden gems to discover along the way. Come with me on this weekend getaway and let's explore Minobu. Minobu is a town located in Yamanashi Prefecture just a few hours away from Tokyo. The town is at the base of Mount Minobu, and if you follow the valley all the way down, it leads you to the gate which marks the entrance of the town. It was really cool walking through the gate to enter the town, and as soon as you walked in, the town felt really secluded, being surrounded by mountains and nature. Minobu has a lot of history and culture and is home to 30 temples, of which 20 you can actually stay at. This time I booked a two day experience through Stay Japan to stay at the temples and to try out some of the activities around town. The two-day experience started at this beautiful traditional house where the staff welcomed me, showed me around the house, and told me more about the area. If you can't speak Japanese, they'll get an English interpreter on the day. えっと、there's also this cute cafe connected to the house, so I stopped by for lunch and enjoy the fresh vegetables and the homemade style cooking. Next, we headed over to a washi paper shop to make some washi paper. よろしくお願いします。よろしくお願いします。はい。それでは今日あの西島和紙の見学と体験をさせていただきます。ここはですね、あの、この山梨の武将武田信玄ちょうど町にあります。武田信玄の命令によって紙を作り始めた。じゃ
、いろいろこう紙を作ったり、あのーまあ、いろんな職人さんといろいろこうやらせてもらって仕事をやらせてもらって、うんうんうん、やっぱこう一つこういい紙が作れると、うんまあ、みんなでこう喜び合ったりして、うんとまあ、やりがいはありますけどね。When the teacher made the washi paper, he made the whole process look so graceful and smooth while he did it. And then it was my turn. I've done washi paper making experiences before, but they usually just give you a little frame for you to soak into the water. So this experience felt really authentic because you get to try making washi paper with the equipment the pros actually use. This is me just finishing making one piece of washi paper. So imagine the teacher, he has to make 400 of these every day and he's been doing that for the past 40 years. That's a lot of work and dedication. The teacher makes it look so easy and when I do it, <laughs> it doesn't look smooth. After we finished making washi, the teacher showed me around his workshop and showed me the process from start to finish. It was really interesting to see where he worked and how he did everything. <laughs> I'm always impressed by the dedication from artisans around Japan and I hope the craft and tradition will stay around for many more decades. He also makes these coffee filters out of washi which I thought was really unique so if you ever come here don't forget to buy some to support him. It was getting dark so I went to check into my accommodation for the night. It was my first time staying inside a temple, so I didn't know what to expect, but it felt very similar to a Japanese inn. For dinner, we were served a beautiful kaiseki course with seasonal ingredients and some local cuisine from the town. <laughs> え、ノブ町特産の高級大豆で、明けぼの大豆という大豆がございまして、隠り餅が製でその大豆を使ってですね、納豆を作っておりまして、その納豆が乗っかったものになります。納豆を入れます。え、食感が面白いのでぜひ
I need to kill the people next to me. Good morning, everyone. So right now it's 6 a.m. and from 6 a.m. every morning for 365 days, they have a morning service here at the temple. So that's what I've woken up for. Uh, so don't mind my sleepy face, but let's go because we're a little bit late. Kulonji is the main and most famous temple in Minobu. It's also a popular spot to see cherry blossoms in spring. The temple grounds has a very distinct atmosphere, including the stone staircase that leads all the way up to the temple. You can hear them in the background, but unfortunately we're not allowed to film in there. So we're gonna cut it off here. I'll see you guys at yoga. The temple we stayed at also offers many experiences you can try out. I decided to do yoga and continue the spiritual morning that I was having. great way to start my morning. I feel very calm and now I'm going to enjoy my breakfast while looking at this beautiful garden. After breakfast, I decided to try out one more activity at the temple. I'm not the best when it comes to writing kanji, but the monk said it's a very therapeutic thing to do and he used to do this every day during his training. I felt really rejuvenated after this trip, even though it was just two days. So if you guys also want to experience the same things I did, I'll put the link to the website I booked this two-day trip from down below. And there are also other temples in the area you can stay at, like these ones here. Hope you guys liked the video and let me know down below what other videos you'll like to see.